Hey, what's going on guys? LJ here from LJ Films and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be creating a double exposure effect and what you can do with this effect to create an awesome intro like this one. From the dusty mesa, her looming shadow Before we start this video, there are a few things I want you to keep in mind. Just want to quickly show you guys the basic blending modes in Sony Vegas. So just quickly, I'm going to go to media generators and go to a split screen effect and drag that down onto our clip. We have white on the left screen and black on the right screen. So if you can go to the video track right here, once you click on that effect, there are multiple choices you can choose from, but for today, it's the light that I'll be working with, so let's give that a click. So as you can see right now, whatever was black is now transparent. So that's the basic idea of it for now. Now that's done, we need to create this first video layer into a silhouette file. All right, so we need to go to the video effects, go to black and white, and drag down our default layer onto our video track. And moving on, we'd like to go to levels, and drag that onto our video. What I like to do is raise up our black channels. And ideally, your goal here is to make your subject black and the background white. And the next thing we'll be going to do is go to our video track, click on the compositing mode, and choose lighten. And voila, there you have the double exposure effect. To make this a lot more entertaining, I went with the effect called Raise. This is before and after. It adds that extra element. And what I like to do next is add a new effect. It's called the mirror effect. And voila, it created a unique shape out of my head. So if we give that a playback, boom, I am loving that effect. And as you can see, you can see the little detail of the bird flying by, the light rays coming in and my head fades away. And if you feel like you need to tweak around the settings a little bit, feel free to go back to your rays, um, play around with the other settings. You want to put a bit more color into this. And uh, we can always go back to the levels to mess around with our channels. See if you want more silhouette or more detail of the face. Let's add a quick curves onto our track beneath the layer. And let's increase the contrast to this. That's looking good. And let's give that a playback. Voila. Now let's go to our original project file and see what we did. Um, like you've seen, we've added a title over here. This is one way that I've added my text. But if you want to go the other way around, like true detective style, you can always go for the executive producer, little text here and there and animate it. All right, let me just quickly show you guys this for a bonus tutorial. All right, so we're going to add a quick video, control shift Q and control V. That's going to add our layer. First thing I'd like to do is uh, put the video file and lower down our opacity. All right, person for me, that looks fine. The reason to why I've added black and white effect, it just subtracts all the colors out of the video, which allows us to just focus on our main character. And I've added levels just to make this video a bit more faded. The next thing we'd like to do on this video track is make it into subtract. Voila. All right, guys, so here is a quick demonstration on what subtract mode actually does to your video and uh, see what happens. Now, whatever was white is inverted into black and whatever was black is now transparent. So what subtract does is it inverts the video and whatever is black would be subtracted. What ends up happening is you see this beautiful, beautiful trees and it kind of looks like a brush tool in Photoshop. So we're just going to fade this video in, fade out the video, and when we play back, it adds that subtlety to the video. Awesome. And that's about it, guys. Uh, feel free to play around with the compositing mode and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment below on which topic you want me to cover next on Sony Vegas. And subscribe also if you happen to be a newcomer onto this channel. So there you have it, guys. Signing out.